it's Meg, welcome back to my channel and welcome to my messy craft desk. So we don't normally start a video with just an absolute mess on my desk but um, I was just catching up with some of um, Rachel from Roxy Creations videos and her weekly challenge and I just had to turn the camera on and I thought we can do maybe a little bit of a craft with me because I've been having so much fun with this one. So I'll leave a link down below to the exact weekly challenge that this is, but I believe it's called Transparent Collage Washi. Um, and Rachel was using um, tracing paper to create kind of collaged washi using like all different scrap papers and um, stamping and things like that. And I've kind of added like a few other bits as I was kind of playing. So I just thought that we could maybe do some together as well, just because I thought this was such a fun idea. So um, I didn't have any tracing paper. So I've just used vellum, which is a little bit thicker than the um, tracing paper, but I think it's working well still. Um, and I've been adding like different bits to my washi collages. So, um, Obviously, as Rachel showed in her video, you can add all the different like scrap little bits of papers and things. So I've kind of done like a neutral theme with mine. I mean, I always do a neutral theme, but um, I thought it might be quite nice to play with some different textures. So um, some other things that I've added to mine are some like washi uh stickers almost because i thought they might be quite nice to blend into the background of the tape um and then also some like lace that i had um or like trim and what i did with this one actually is i put it kind of along the edge of the strip itself um, and i really love how that one turned out um, but i've also put it kind of in different spots on the tape as well um, and I really love how that looks. So I've got a little bit of the lace left. So I want to use that on some more of the strips. But my goodness, these are so addictive. Like once I started, I was like, I'm going to make so many of these. Um, and I'm not quite sure how I'm going to use them in my journal yet. I think these would be really nice maybe to use in my patchwork journal or my altered book. Um, not quite sure what I'm going to do with them yet. But, um, you know, that's... A challenge for another day I'm sure I will think of something um you know I could probably maybe cut these up and use them as just kind of decorative elements by themselves or I was thinking maybe like tuck spots and having it as like a belly band almost because I feel like it's kind of a shame with this one to um cut it up too much so I don't want to alter that one too much um but I just love how this is such like a great way to use up different like scrap papers so like this is a piece of um paper that was underneath stuff as I was like tea dyeing things um and I just really liked the kind of um blotchy effect of the uh tea dyeing on it so I didn't want to let it go to waste um but I wasn't really sure how to use it um and I'm just loving how it's looking um, by just picking out like the the different elements of the um, like the detail almost and using this on um, these little washi strips. So something that I wanted to chat about as I'm sticking these uh, little bits of scrap paper down is the podcast that I have been hosting with my friend Daisy over at My Green Cow. So um, if you didn't know, we have a fortnightly journaling podcast that's called Craft Noon, and um, we've been kind of like interviewing different artists and just chatting about just like journals and like all creative stuff and it's been such a fun little project to do um, because I've always wanted to do a podcast but I was a bit scared to do it on my own thought it would be less scary if I had like someone else to do it with you know to kind of like help with like the conversation and things like that and also it's just a real fun excuse to um chat to Daisy on zoom we have like three hour zoom calls as we're doing like the recordings and stuff um so it's a it's a great excuse to just catch up to be honest but um it's been a really fun project and at the beginning we said we would just kind of record like a batch of um, six episodes to kind of see what people thought and if we enjoyed it and stuff. It's been so much fun so I think by the time this video goes live 
um, we'll have posted a kind of like Q&A episode. Um, we thought it would be nice to kind of celebrate the end of like the first season with a little Q&A. So um, the first part of that is, um, or should be by the time this video goes live, um, it should be live on Spotify and Apple Podcasts. Um, and I think we're on Google as well. So um, I will leave links down below if you're interested in listening to that. If you want something to listen to maybe whilst you're crafting and things like that, because I absolutely love listening to podcasts as I'm working in my journals and stuff. So some of my favourite podcasts are Laura Horn Art Podcast, the Get Messy Podcast, which um, I actually was on, I think last year. It was like filmed just before the pandemic so it kind of feels like it was ages ago but um yeah I had a really great chat with um Kaylee on that podcast um I also really enjoy the podcast that Wendy Solganic does Willa.Wonders over on Instagram and I think the podcast is called Show Up or Shut Up and she does some absolutely fantastic interviews with different kind of creators and like artists they're just real great conversations those ones um i really enjoy her podcast if you know some podcasts that you would recommend then do let me know because i'm always after um more podcasts to listen to because i i love listening to them in the background whilst i'm like journaling or whilst i'm doing like my crochet projects and things so yeah let me know if you listen to any podcasts and they don't even have to be art related i listen i literally listen to like loads of different podcasts um and they're not all like art podcasts so um yeah let me know your recommendations because i would love to have some more podcasts to listen to so yeah that's what i just, just wanted to let you know just because it's been such a fun project to work on the craft noon podcast so let's see so I'm adding some more scraps to this and I kind of want to add some more like translucent elements. Um, the great thing I find about this is that it always seems a little bit um, off until I add the stamping and then once I add the stamping to the strip that's what seems to really bring it together so it's really nice to see kind of how the layers are building up and then how it looks once we add the stamping to it so i'm just going to add some like tissue paper and things some um like thinner more translucent elements just for some added texture so i've got this like sewing pattern paper that is a really nice color um that kind of you know really nice beige like tea stain color um and i really like the look of it on the tape so I think where is it have I been using it so like here you can see it's kind of you can still kind of see through just um because it's almost a bit like tissue paper really so it's nice to add layers of that and I've just been working with it with the shiny side um glued down just so that I have the matte surface then to to do the stamping on and I found with the um with the vellum that the ink does dry I just have to make sure I leave it to dry um for quite a while make sure I don't like smudge it or anything um whilst I'm working on it and then the ink does settle um so that's something to bear in mind um if you do want to ink onto vellum I found you just have to have a bit of patience so <laughs> bear that in mind because I learned the hard way my first one that's not shown here um had a massive uh smudge all over it because I didn't wait for the uh ink to dry and then it was all over my hand and everything so yeah wait for your ink to dry don't be like me um but yeah I just love how this looks like layered over um the different papers as well so um I'm, and I've been trying not to make these like too thick obviously because they they're supposed to be kind of like faux washi tape almost so I didn't want to add too much to them but I do like how it looks layered over some of the different papers so I'm just going to trim 
trim the excess of that one. And then I think I might add just another piece of it down here, just because it's looking a little bit sparse. Um, and I know I'm going to come in with my stamping and things. So let's just add this one here. And this is just such a fun project to do kind of like um, whilst you're doing something else. If you're like watching, watching something on TV or whatever, um, I can see myself just sitting down and making loads of these because um, you don't need to think about it too much. So let's put that away for now. So um, I'm going to come in and do my stamping. So I've just got some like um, script kind of uh, stamps that I'm using. So like background stamps. And then I'm using my new fave, the um, Versafine uh, sepia ink. And I'm just going to put something underneath here just so that I don't get ink all over my uh, table. But I don't mind because I quite like how when the stamp goes onto this paper um, that kind of adds some like additional texture for um, using that as a, a kind of collage element anyway. Um, so let's add some more ink to the stamp and I'm just going to vary it and kind of do it upside down and stuff as well. There we go. So I'm not too bothered about it being like a complete um, like clean stamp because it's just kind of like a background element but I just love how it brings like everything together um, it really adds a lovely detail to it so let's add this one here and here and maybe I'll go all the way across just to add some variety to this and I'm trying not to cover like the whole of the strip just with the script because I'm going to come in and add um, some more details probably with um, another stamp but I just love how this brings everything together so let's maybe do one that's kind of a little bit more faint and then there we go I'm gonna need some more ink on that one I'm trying to not have it too like um, harsh so that you can't really tell um, where the edge of this uh, script is. So I think I'm happy with how much is on there for now. I'm just going to quickly swap this one out for um, kind of some like wavy lines that are a bit like a kind of postal mark almost. And I'm just going to add a couple of these um, along the strip just to add a bit more variety to it. So just kind of on the edges really I don't really want it to be like a massive feature but just something extra to add and I might maybe double them up like that there we go and some ghosted ones as well so there we go so that kind of brings everything together and then what I've been doing is adding some of the um like lace trim um, and the good thing about this is that it's really, really delicate. So um, it's quite easy to glue onto the onto the strip without it kind of feeling too bulky or me worrying about it coming off um, because it's so because it's so light. So I'm just going to glue it down just with a glue stick, and um, it seems to have stuck on the others. So let's just add that, and then I've just kind of been adding it in like different places on the washi tape just for some I think it just adds a real nice kind of texture to the um to the strip of uh washi tape or faux washi tape so just add some glue to this one as well there we go and then maybe I'll add this one further up here perhaps so I kind of want it so that I can still see um, still see the design of the the lace because there's some quite busy sections of this already so I don't want to um, cover those too much so maybe if I go up here there we go that just adds some nice texture um, to this and then the other thing that I've been doing is adding little bits of 
uh, washi tape, which is kind of a little bit like meta to add washi tape onto my like so-called washi tape. Um, but I just think it adds a nice little extra detail to it. So I've just been using this pale pink washi tape just to add a pop of colour. So literally just like tiny little um, bits that I'm tearing off and then just adding them kind of to the edges. Maybe add another one over here. And then I'm also going to come in with my um, acrylic paint pen and just add some like dots and marks, which I'm finding is also great to kind of bring things together. And it kind of makes the like bits that don't have anything on them. So kind of the bits that are still vellum, um, it looks really nice over that, but then it also kind of brings everything together and areas that are maybe a little bit darker it kind of helps to lighten them up a bit as well so um again nothing too precise here i'm just kind of adding random dots here and there just to again add some more interest and chances are these are going to be cut up anyway so it's not going to matter too much so that's kind of the strips that I've been making. I just really wanted to um, show you kind of how I've been doing that. And I will leave a link down below to uh, Rachel's video so you can see her kind of full tutorial on this. But it's just such a fun project and I can't wait to use these in my um, junk journals. So thank you so much, Rachel, for sharing um, this wonderful idea. Um, I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your day. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.